Oh, good afternoon guys. Ngayon ay March 5, 2023. Video number 75 ko na ito. Itong video na ito ay tungkol ulit sa misa ni Father Anton City Pascual na gaganapin mamaya ng alas 6 sa Shangri-La Mall. Ang tema ng gospel ngayon ay Transfiguration. Mamaya maririnig natin yung gospel at homily ni Father City or Father Anton City Pascual. Pagbalik ko, landun na ako sa Shangri-La Mall. From the Shangri-La, the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved son, Peter. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. The gospel proclamation according to Matthew. Lord be with you, O Lord. Jesus to Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, this is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to Him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Church of Shah, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to be using it. Of course, huh? as we mentioned last Sunday, we are now in the beautiful, spirit filled, life giving, transforming season of Lent. It is a preparation, a spiritual preparation, as we celebrate the greatest peace history of our salvation, the passion, death, and the resurrection of the Lord, the victory of the Lord, not for himself, but for all of us, so that we may also be victorious following the victory of the Lord. And truly, God wants us to be victorious. As a matter of fact, in the first reading, God wants to bless us as he blessed Abraham because of Abraham's uh, trust. In the Lord. That's why Yahweh rewarded Abraham, I will make your generation great. I will bless you. I will make you great. Whatever you bless, I will bless. Whatever you curse, I will curse. Imagine that. Abraham was empowered by the Lord. Whatever you bless, I will bless. Whatever you curse, I will curse. Because God wants us to be curse. In the second reading, God will give us strength. To live a holy life. And the challenge of transfiguration is the challenge of transformation during this time of Lent. To be born again in spirit and truth. 
But in order to do that, in order to be victorious, we have to overcome temptations. Ay, Ramian, winasak na tahan. Kay Ramian, pusong sino ka ka. Kay Ramian, pusong uh, matang uh, pinaluha. Ano din? Otos. Layuan mo. Layuan mo pala. Let's talk about overcoming temptations. Okay? As a preliminary, as I reminded you, temptation did not come from God. Never say, He looks to God and He looks to God. That's against the word of God. James chapter 1 verse 13, temptation did not come from God. Never say, God tempted me. It did not come from God. The second preliminary, temptation is not a sin. Trial is different from temptation. Trial is the testing of God in order to strengthen the resolve. Yeah, trial is a temptation. What about attraction? Sometimes we're attracted by it. You know what I'm not attracted to? You know what I'm attraction? It is something natural. Something is an domasaki, no? No, ang tao daw, we are naturally, naturally attracted to what is true, good and beautiful. Kaya kung nakakakita ka ng magandang tatawin, wow, ang maganda. That is a temptation. That's just attraction. Pag may nakita ka ng mga, kayo mga babae, mga ladies, pag may nakita ka ng magandang tatawin, wow, ang maganda. That's a temptation. This is natural attraction to what is beautiful, di ba? Sa tagi nga eh, meron kami nga general assembly ng cooperative ako sa tagi. Ang tinatanong ko yung aking mga managers, o sino na imbitahan natin guest speaker sa assembly? O sino ba siya ngayon Marcos? Siya ang chairman ng cooperative. Father, ayun na kami si Mikey. Sabi ng mga mabay, si Robin Pagina lang po. Ang ikakuha ko, yung attractive is someone, a person is beautiful. That's normal, di ba? Di ba? Attack tayo. May nagdadaan lang kami, dapat yung kapari, ang kapari. Napakaganda na yung ipang ng Diyos. Kaya iba temptation. Well, temptation as a sin, it is not a sin. It is what you do after being tempted. It is what you do. Even this Christ was tempted. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 15. Jesus was tempted like you and I. In everything. Jesus was tempted in everything. But he did not sin. Temptation is everywhere. Adam and Eve were tempted in the Garden of Eden. Jesus was tempted in the desert. You. Something of Luxo. Something of Luxo. You give up in Luxo, some cell phone. Oh, I'm going to go to the cell phone. Oh, I'm going to go to the cell phone. I'm going to go to the cell phone. I'm going to go to the cell phone. You give up. Sa internet, sa computer. Pag nagbukas ka ng computer, andyan na nagsusulpukan ang mga tukso. Kaya mag-inect po tayo, saan ka rin ang tukso? Of course, we will be tested, we will be tempted until the day we die. There's a state for everyone. And of course, of this number, God will tempt you, you will be tempted, not only your weaknesses. Of course, according to Ignatius, strategic magisipan, Di mo yung tutuksin ka niya sa kahinaan mo. And be aware of your weakness. Be aware of your weakness. The devil will tell you there. But of course, you know, that even your strength, sa lakas natin, gagawin ka ng demonyo, lakas natin para sirahin ka. Kaya temptation is everywhere. The second question is, what's the problem with temptation? Of course, temptation came from three things. As you know that. It came from the flesh, it came from the world, it came from Satan. Classic. St. Thomas of Myers, 800 years ago, Saan sa nagagaling ang tukso? Sa pagkatao mo. Torn in the flesh. Mark 7, Matthew chapter 7. Sabi sa Matthew chapter 7. What makes a person dirty and impure is not what comes in, but what comes out from the deepest recesses of your heart. Deceit, wickedness, lie, nagagaling sa kalukaupan ng tao. So saan nagagaling ang tukso? Isa ka loob ka ng tukso. Pangalawa, isa na nangyari ng tukso? Sa kamunduhan. Sa paligid natin. Kinutukso tayo ng kamunduhan. Pero ingat po tayo. 
sa ating pinapanood, pinapasa, na sinisurf at uh, dinutuksan. Baka tayo matuksan ang amunduhan. At syempre, the worst, galing sa tanas. Tutuksin tayo sa pamamagitan ng putting in doubt in our minds. Deceit, before, yung nagkakasin ng demonyo, halika ka ng doubts. Deceit, magsisimpan niya para mahuli ka. And before, ininis ka niya ng daan. Dapat ako, huwag ka lang huwag ito. Bigal ng days ka pa. Pumunta ka pa sa bigal ni ko sa mayo ko. Dapat ako, bigal ng bahay. Ako ba'y naging magbahay? Ditor. Kaya nga same thing on the word, ang martilla. Tumihis ng daan. Kaya nga yun mo na sa demonyo. Kaya nga yun mo na. No, doubt, deceit, and ditor. So, sa nagkaling ang tukso. The flesh within you, the world around you, and Satan. Uh, out there to destroy you. Okay. So why did God allow? Why did God allow? Of course, everything it, it doesn't come from accident. Everything is allowed by the Lord. You know? Why did God allow you to be tempted by the flesh, the world, and Satan? Of course, God wants us to make a moral choice. God did not create us to be a robot. God wants us to use our freedom, our will, power to choose what is good. It's an exercise of moral choice. In order for us to love freely, God wants us to love freely, not uh, forced to love. We want to love, we choose to love. No? And at the same time, according to Ephesians 4.13, uh, Ephesians 4.13, God wants to love our character towards perfect maturity in the fullness of Christ. Perfect maturity in the fullness of Christ. That is the objective of God. That's why sometimes He allows temptation no? to tempt us. Perfect maturity in the fullness of Christ. How can you be honest? How can you say that you're honest if you have not intended to be dishonest? How can you say that you are faithful if you have not been tempted to become unfaithful? How can you say that you are generous if you have not been tempted to be greedy? Sometimes, temptation is necessary in order for us to be resolute in our resolve. Yeah, there is a positive dimension. That's why sometimes God loves temptation. Let's go deeper. Pumunta na tayo sa, uh, sa meat of our topic. What are the three classic temptations? These are classic. Hindi naman ito bago. Greg, uh, ang ito bago. Duma na ito temptation na ito. Nasa Bible, before the Bible, and then ito itong classic temptation. Is it, is it in the Bible? Yes. First letter of John, verse 2, 16. First letter of John, chapter 2, verse 16. 1 John 2, 16. 1 John 2, 16. And in three classic temptations, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. Tatlo yan. Hindi ko apa, hindi tatlo kalake, hindi dalawa. Tatlo. Memorize it, remember it, reflect on it. The first is what? Lust. Of the flesh. Can you see that? Yes. Number two, lust of the eyes. And the third is part of life. Right. What is lust of the flesh? Yeah. It is the temptation of um, pleasure. Hedonism. Temptation of doing. Have to do something. Something pleasurable. What makes you happy? What makes you alive? The pleasures, uh -huh. the appetites, the desires, the needs, nothing uh, like uh, sex. Oh, very enticing. Like uh, food, yeah. Like uh, drinking, the pleasures of the world. Uh, is it evil? Well, sex is not evil. Desires are not evil. Needs are not evil. 
What makes it sinful is when you misuse, abuse, pervert sex, food, drink, pleasures of the world. Parang ilang mga pinamahaling sa buhay mo. No? That you can kasawa ka naman eh with your sexual life. So, may sipi ka pa doon sa kasambahay niyo. So, may sipi ka pa yung umari mo. At ililigaw mo pa yung sipi tayo. Jesus, my Lord. Always remember, according to a nation that worldwide study, 70% of husbands are unfaithful. 70% po ng mga misterya magtatakasin. Tingnan mo ka rin. Totoo po yan. Ang may worldwide study, 70% ng mga misterya magtatakasin sa kanyang kasaw. Tingnan mo rin yung game dito. Of course, no? Hindi ko naman sinabi. 100% ang sinabi ko lang ay 70%. Kayo po mga nagsisipa ngayon sa totoo lang. Kung kayo po yung mga 30% na kapag sa Diyos na makasama nyo. Wala ba tayong mga kamay dyan? Para nang pagkakaroon. Bakit din na po? Hindi ko lang kaya ng kain. Katakawan. Hindi ko kayo sa katakawan. Kaya ng kain. Nagkakasakit na. Kaya sa pagkain. Pinggan na ang gamot sus. Abalis! Hindi makundin ito sa kanyang katapawan. Pleasures of the world. Diba? Pleasures of the world. What makes you happy? Pero iba dyan, ha? Ang pinagdila nito, hindi na ayaw ka na. Ayaw ka na. Ayaw ka na. Ayaw ka na. Masisira ka nilang lifestyle. Ano ang insya niya? Masisira ang lifestyle nila. Because they want the pleasures of the world. Last of the flesh. The second last of the eyes. What is last of the eyes? Last of the eyes is uh, heaven. The temptation of heaven. It's a temptation of uh, doing. It's a temptation of having. Materialism. Consumerism. Lahat ng makita gusto. Hindi mo kontento. Lahat ng makita. Dapat meron ako. Tato na yung kotse. May bagong brand, akin yun. Bagong brand, bagong design, bagong uh, kulay. Kailangan may bagong uh, Dapat meron akong bag na yun. Dapat meron akong alax na yan. Kailangan meron akong kulay ng bahay na yan. Kaya sa akin ang gusto mo lang. Pakalawa, parang ko. Ang sabi ng muslim ka. Ang muslim ang asal ng muslim. Apat lima. Apat. Pag lima, tatuli mo na yun. Hahaha. Kasi ka din ang temptation ni Alex. I want that, I want this. He wants to grab everything. He wants to hoard everything. Dapat meron ako niya. Dapat meron din akin din siya. Yan. We're obsessed with that. We're addicted with that. Misuse, abuse. At we tend to do something illegal, immoral, unethical. Because of our obsession with materialism, consumerism, and everything that the world can offer. Last of the eyes. What's the very last? What I'm believing? No love at all. It's just last. No? I want that. I want this. Okay? And the third is pride of life. What is pride of life? Temptation of being the best. Number one. To be the powerful, to take the best position, to be entitled to everything. In other words, temptation of power. Yung isang, pleasure. Pangalawa, possession. Ito naman, temptation of power. I want to be powerful at home. I want to be the most powerful in the office. I want to be the most powerful in society. Oh, look at what's happening in Europe. Because of the power grab of Putin destroying our world because of our obsession with power. That is what you call the pride of life, temptation of power, rooted on secularism and even atheism. 
unjust. Ang mahalaga, you have everything in the world. You have power and influence. But what is the problem with power? Lagi natin sinasabi. Sabi ni Lord, akto. Hindi mo ang ha? Lord, akto. Ano sabi niya? Power corrupts. Power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. There is this innate to intoxicating nakakalasin. Power is corrupt and corrupting. There is something in power that makes everyone corrupt. Alam po namin sa gobyerno yan. Because of power. Yung bago pa lang, idealistic. Ay nakaupo na. Bilako na ng sistema. Corrupt pa rin. Sa negosyo, alam po namin yan. They are corrupt people because of power. They hold on to power. Sa simbahan. Well, to be honest with you, rather they go. So they are entitled. Para kaya sinasabi ni Carlo na Jiko, hindi tayo naman entitled. Entitled is kaya naman power, kaya naman position. Dapat kaya naman na, dapat kaya naman ito. So it's not entitlement. Kaya sinabi na. Everywhere you go. Ako sa kooperatiba. Naramdaman ko kayo sa mga kooperatiba. Sa mga kooperatiba. They use their position to take advantage. To be corrupt. And they don't feel anything about it. They are entitled. They have power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. And they're even willing to kill, to destroy their enemies. Dead men tell no things. Pahit niya. And alam po natin, kay Putin, kay Trump, kay di pagkasal po natin yung anak, Iwala sa kanya ng tamang bayan, ang last match. Pag-isa po natin na na matutuwa na sa karanasan ng mga. So, mag-ingat po tayo sa tango niya. The three temptations. Last of the flesh, last of the eyes, pride of life. It challenges God. This, ang problema sa tatong temptation nito, Sunny, itong tatong matitinig temptation nito, sinusunod ka ng Diyos. The lust of the flesh challenges the sufficiency of God. The lust of the eyes challenges the sanctity of God. And the pride of life challenges the sovereignty of God. The temptations challenges the sufficiency of God, the sanctity of God, the sovereignty of God in our lives. What is the cure? Is there an antidote to all these three temptations? Yes, there are antidotes. As I know, antidote sa tatong temptation. Is it the Bible? 1 Corinthians 13. Sabi ni St. Paul, After all has been said and done, tatong bagay ang mahalaga. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest is love. Yung pong tatong ito, the three greatest virtues, they are the antidote to the three temptations. The lust of the flesh, the antidote of that is love. The lust of the eyes, the antidote of that is hope. And the pride of life, the antidote of that is faith. But what do we do? How do we overcome temptations? And be blessed and holy and victorious like this Christ. There are three, six ways to overcome temptations. Ano na paraan? To overcome temptations. And let's talk about that next Sunday. Let us all rise. Guys, nakauwi na ako. Di ba ang ganda ng homily ni Father Anton kanina? Grabe, ano? Full of energy. Well explained. From first reading to the second reading and the gospel. Di ba? Ang galing niya mag-explain. May kunting kanta pa. Di ba? Okay? Kung sino man gusto umaten ng misa niya, alas 12 at alas 6 tuwing linggo. Alas 12 ng tanghali at alas 6 ng gabi sa Shangri-La Mall. Okay? Okay? Sa muli natin pagkikita, don't forget to like, share, 
and hit the notification bell with the all button. And please don't forget to comment down there kung ano masasabi ninyo sa video ito. And please watch the video buong buo. Okay? Please subscribe my YouTube channel and follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Sa muli nating pagkikita, Shalom Aleikum.